بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, our subject uh, in vital echocardiology we talk about uh, vital heart rate arrhythmias vital arrhythmias it's an important subject heart rate this is the increase progressively over subsequent two to three weeks becoming when uh, one teen 110 beat per minute by five to six week when 70 beat per minute by nine to ten week this followed by a decrease coming on average 150 by 14 weeks 140 by 20 weeks 130 by 10 this is heart rate also the health status the heart rate is usually regular a beat to beat variation of approximately 5 to 15 beat per minute can be allowed a slow vital heart rate is termed vital bradycardia. This is usually defined as a heart rate below 100 beat per minute before 6.3 week gestation or heart rate below 120 beat per minute at 6.3 to 7 weeks. A rapid vital heart rate termed vital tachycardia. This is usually defined as a heart rate above 160 to 180 beat per minute a rate of 170 beat per minute may be classified as a borderline vital tachycardia. A rapid and irregular vital heart rate is usually termed arrhythmia. Vital bradycardia refers to an abnormal of vital heart rate. This is regarded as a sustained first trimester heart rate below 100 beats per minute. Underlying conduction abnormality following chordosynthesis. Vagal cardiovascular reflex, especially if transient during second trimester, this may occur from vital heat compression, umbilical cord occlusion and decompression, maternal exertion, possibly from inadequate maternal gas exchange, hypoxia caused by myocardial depression, stimulation of stretch receptors in aortic arch and all carotid sinus wall. This may be transient vagal cardiovascular reflex leading to vital bradycardia with a result problem in the heart outside the heart okay this condition as we talk vital bradycardia classification vital sinus bradycardia vital brachyarrhythmia vehicle bradyarrhythmia vehicle bradyarrhythmia vital partial ev block vital complete ev block Common type of bradyarrhythmia is blocked premature atrial contraction. Association is increased risk of chromosomal anomaly, especially trisomy 18, maternal connective tissue disease, particularly with bradyarrhythmias. Differential diagnosis is general consideration, include transient sinus bradycardia from excessive pressure. Vital tachyarrhythmia, the normal vital heart. Rate ranges are approximately 120 to 160 beat per minute at 13 weeks and 110 to 150 beat per minute at term. Frequency up to 170 beat per minute considered mildly abnormal, whereas over tachycardia is usually defined as a heart rate exceeding 170 beat per minute or 180 beat per minute. Tachyarrhythmia. Premature atrial contraction, the commonest form of vital bradycardia, vital bradyarrhythmia. What we mean by premature atrial contraction, BAC. Premature atrial contraction is caused by an early electrical impulse coming from somewhat in the atria outside sinus node, from area in the atrium, from area and tissue in the atrium, outside the sinus node which control normal heart rate and sequence and rhythm. BAC is a premature contraction coming from a piece of tissue in the atria, not transmitted to the ventricle outside side of premature atrial contractions. As again, this is BAC in the mood of premature atrial contraction, not transmitted to the ventricles. As we see, this regular, 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 and this is premature atrial contraction. See premature atrial contraction, cardiac dysarrhythmias, cardiac dysarrhythmias, premature atrial contraction. This is atrial contraction, atrial contraction, atrial contraction, atrial contraction. It's normal rhythm. This is BEC, premature atrial contraction. Desynchronizations, 
piece of atria give impulse outside the sinus premature atrial contraction Immune Doppler image show BEC again 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 BEC with subsequent early ventricular contour atrial contraction as we see cardiac rays premature normal and abnormal vetus normal and abnormal vetus premature atrial contraction isolated blocked upper panel conducted lower panel premature atrial contraction as we see this is atrium atrium this premature atrial contraction this aorta and this is superior vena cava all this aorta this is a pulse mood pulse mood p pulse not continuous wave not m mood this aorta this superior vena cava this uh, uh, atrium atrium impulse this premature atrial contractions upper banner contacted and lower banner other blocked form lower banner contacted form upper banner this is various types of premature atrial contraction complete ev block as we see in complete ev block atria pit at their oil rhythm in atrium beating at oil their oil rhythm and none of their impulse transmitted to the ventricles the ventricle has a slow rate uh, 40 to 70 beat per minute this is how many atrial contraction more and more how many ventricular contraction less than atrial contraction so complete ev block sinus node which give atrial impulse not transmitted completely plugged to the ventricle this is one causes of brady arrhythmias one causes of brady cardia complete ev block other type of vital emo mode of tracing complete EV block demonstrating atrial wall motion during a phase of with a small slower ventricular contraction multiple atrial contraction as we saw slow atrial ventricular contraction not follow this not follow atrial contraction so this is at uh, Atrium impulse controlled by sinus node not transmitted to the ventricle complete EV block. It's one chambers have its iron rate. This is one cause of Brady arrhythmias. One cause of Brady arrhythmias. Okay, vital supra ventricular tachycardia atria and the ventricle are contracted rapidly with 1.1 EV relationship irregularity of supra ventricular tachycardia should be due to transient interruption and reinitiation or could reflect transient alteration in the EV conduction during ongoing atrial tachycardia. Distinction could prove important when establishing a medical therapy. This is a vital supraventricular tachycardia as of this arrhythmia of the heart. Atrial flutter, atrial rate ranging from 250 250 up to 500 people minute is affixed or variable ev block flutter again another type of dysrhythmia in mood echo of the ef atria flutter flutter contraction of the atrium indicated by a small r as we see multiple multiple atria contraction ev conduction two to one every two Atria contraction conducted one to the ventricle and the ventricular contraction indicated by large RO. This is atrial flutter, atrium, so rapid to 150 up to 500 contraction. Not all transmitted to the ventricle, but percentage two here, one here. This is a type of this arrhythmias. And this is multiple atrial contraction, atrial flutter. This is ventricular contraction, not follow atrial contraction. This is two contraction, one contraction in the ventricle. This is type of real flutter. Tachyarrhythmia, okay, one no, on the heartbeat, more than 170, more than 180. This is tachyarrhythmias, tachyarrhythmias, okay, okay increase the after. Supraventricular tachycardia, divided as one by one EV conduction, in which atrial contraction precedes ventricular contraction. Heart rate in supraventricular tachycardia most commonly range from 200 to 300 per minute. Is either paroxysmal or instant in nature associated with vital hydrops in 36 to 64 percentage supraventricular tachycardia T. In my mode of SCVT with a short VA interval. First white line placed on the peak excursion of the left atrium 
wall and second placed on the peak extrusion of the right ventricle wall third line on the consecutive pit at the contraction ev interval markedly longer than the eva interval eV interval much much longer than VA interval as we see in this three one type of SVT. In the mode of supraventricular tachycardia with a long VA interval, supraventricular tachycardia with a long V supraventricular tachycardia, twenty week of pregnancy, transverse scan through the Vitax thorax showing four chamber view of the heart and the precardial fusion as we see this fluid uh, between precardium and the heart precardial fusion precardial fusion as this is hypo this is in supraventricular tachycardia of the and again again same detail so more increasing for a chamber view okay uh, 22 weeks of pregnancy image three shows a mode examination of the heart with an avital heart rate 231 231 beat per minute image 4 shows scan of the avital abdomen with ascites here ascites above we see brain fusion here we see ascites fluid in bicardium and in proteinium free fluid tachycardia sobra tachycardia 20 week, weeks of pregnancy reverse flow at the level of the lactus art venosus was present during the vital tachycardia all this is because the effusion, ascites, reverse flow in ductus venosus. All this is manifestation. What you mean? You have intrauterine growth restriction. We, there is stress in vetus. Ductus venosus reverse flow. Immune Doppler shows supraventricular tachycardia. Atrial heart rate as fast as well as ventricular heart rate. This is both are fast atrial heart rate and the ventricular supraventricular tachycardia. Cardiac function of vetus heart ultrasound Doppler diastolic dysfunction in cardiomyopathy. Prolonged isovolumetric relaxation time. Prolonged isovolumetric relaxation time. Increased myocardial performance index MBI. This is cases of cardiomyopathy.